Let's get to work. This is workout number five of your Boxing for Weight Loss playlist. Today, we're going through a 20 minute heavy bag build up combination workout where I take you through easy to follow boxing combinations in the round. The last 30 seconds of each round, I'm gonna give you that 30 second burner to push you to level up to finish the round strong. Between rounds, you can do the core piece to get that metabolic fire burning in their core lit, or you can simply rest and recover. I explain every boxing combination before we start every round, so you know what to fire, and the sound of fitness is included in this workout. Tell me what that sound is, and I'll give you 30 days free of Nate Bauer Elevated. You ready to put in work? Let's get it done. Round number one is a jab across a lead hook. Think about your shoulders moving on the same level as you throw this combo. One, two, three. Left side, rear side, lead side. Let's go. All right, all right, let's go. Jab, cross, lead hook to start. You can see the boxing names, punch names on the bottom of the screen and the punch numbers will be in the middle of the screen. Let's work. Jab, cross, lead hook, the one, two, three. Work at a nice sustained pace. We're building up boxing combinations to allow you to flow nicely in this 20 minute boxing workout for weight loss. It's an awesome series so far. I hope you've enjoyed every workout. When you're throwing your jab, put your rear cross in that same divot or change the level. Now add another cross. Jab, cross, lead hook, step back a little bit and throw the cross. So it's a one, two, three, step back a little bit to throw the cross. Now the thing is you don't want to step back out of position so you miss the bag. So step back only half a step to throw that rear cross so you're still in ring. As soon as you feel that rear foot make contact with the ground, dig in and let the cross go. If you feel like your punches are a little sloppy, slow it down a little bit, work on some power, work on some control. Now we're gonna level up with a one, two, three, two, non-stop. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Let's go. Now this is that 30 second burner. We talked about the end of each round. Let's get it done. Energy in the bag, continuous work to finish the round strong. Come on, you got this. Don't stop until you hear the bell. Almost there, almost there. And time, go work guys. Now you can rest or do plank reaches. Hold the plank position, keep your chest high. Use your knuckles, not your palms to hold yourself in position and just reach under and try to resist rotating your hips. 15 seconds before we jump into the explanation of your next boxing combo. Core strong. Get that metabolic fire burning. Core strengthened as you rest. Let's get ready for your next combo. Round number two, you're gonna throw a lead hook then duck to your rear side. So it's a lead hook. Keep this hand up, duck to the rear side. Three, duck right or duck to the rear side. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. You're gonna throw a lead hook, a number three, then make that nice pendulum, bringing your head to your lead side first and coming up on the right side. A three, duck to the right. Move, now start to move a little faster, especially if you're more experienced as you start to heat up in round number two. Three, duck right. Stay in position, change your angle on the bag. You want quick, fast twitch movements to simulate explosive power. Now it's a three, duck to the rear side, then throw a double jab. So you're throwing three punches from your lead side. Lead hook, duck right, double jab. And remember that right hand stays nice and high as you come under. You don't want to look at the floor as you're ducking. Look at your opponent's chest so you know where you're going to throw that double jab when you come out of the duck. 
Now we're gonna throw across to the body. So it's a three, duck right, double jab, cross to the body. And that cross is right down the center. Solar plex shot, let's go. When you throw that cross to the body, you wanna step out a little bit as if you're trying to get away from a jab coming back at you, but stay in position so you can throw punches again directly after that shot. Three, duck right, double jab, cross to the body. Beautiful work, I love that combo. Feels silky smooth. Now we're gonna level up with a jab, cross to the body. You wanna feel out jab, rip to the body. Jab up high, cross to the body. Feel out jab up high, rip to the body. Let's go, non-stop. One, two body, jab, two body, jab, two body, work. Small movements left to right, champions. Exhale as you punch through the heavy bag on that cross to the body. Long range, outside to the inside. Three, two, one, beautiful work. Now you can rest or you can do a loaded beast, just like this. Bum back, knees close to the floor, Drop down to a push-up, bum back, core tight. Let's get it done. 20 seconds, rest or loaded beast. If you're getting into the loaded beast, make sure you're breathing, you stay strong with your chest, flex your quads. Now bring it up, let's get ready for round number three. Round number three is a double jab overhand, right? With the double jab, step in a little bit, so it's a jab, jab, stay here, a little bit on the outside. Throw the overhand right. Right there. Let's go. Now, if you've done every workout to this point, you should be familiar with the overhand right. Let's go. One, one, overhand. Let's get it done. I want you to get used to this combination. So I want that jab to go all the way out and all the way back in with that double jab before you release the eight. For a more advanced movement, as the second jab comes halfway back, let that overhand right release with power. Be ferocious with it. And then again, work some fun footwork on the heavy bang. It's a knockout punch, set it up with the double jab. Work different angles on the heavy bag after you throw it. Always be aware that something could be coming back after. In order for us to work against that now, we're gonna throw that rear uppercut. So I want you to counter after that rear overhand right with this rear uppercut. Double jab, overhand right, reset, rear uppercut, yes. So it's a one, one, eight, six. That's it, so as that rear overhand shot comes across, you have to be quick to let that rear uppercut go very soon after. One, one, eight, six, and then put some speed on it. One, one, eight, six, move. That's it, change positions on the bag. You guys wanna level up? Let's do that. Here, you're gonna throw hooks to the body, wide to the outside. This is conditioning, ready, go. Your offense is your defense, get it done. Big hooks to the body. Let's get it, come on. Bury your head in your opponent's chest, let those hooks go wide to the outside. You got it. Finish the round strong. Three, two, one, time. Beautiful work, you guys. Now, once again, you can rest or you can do seated crunches. All you're gonna do is lean back about a 45 degree angle, bring the opposite knee to your elbow, kind of like a sprinkler, but seated, crunch, and get it done. 10 to your right side, 
and then switch 10 on your left. Again, you're reaching the arm behind you to support you. You want to crunch up into it as you bring your elbow to your knee. Now check out your sounds of fitness. Check it out. Before we get back into the workout, as promised, what fitness sound is this? Round number four is this rear uppercut, then a block to the rear side, to so the same side. Rear uppercut, and then block to the rear side. So it's a rear uppercut of number six, block right. Work at a nice steady pace. All right, let's go. You know how to throw that rear uppercut from the last round. So again, I want it really strong. You can work it from the inside or slightly to the outside and then block a lead hook coming in as a counter. So it's uppercut, block the hook, small movement. Uppercut, block the hook, small movement. There you go, great work. Again, quick on your legs, explosive energy in your legs that you could attack at any time. Uppercut, block, get ready to work. So balance is crucial as you block that shot coming in, but don't over rotate your head. You have to see the shot coming in. Stay calm. Now to counter that lead hook that you just blocked, you're gonna throw a jab cross. A rear uppercut, block right, and then a one, two. Let's get it. The one, two should be pretty crispy going down the middle and a fast jab cross. Don't slow down on me though. I want you to work at a steady pace. Yep. Uppercut, block, settle, jab cross. Uppercut, block, settle, jab cross. Excellent, very good. Control is king or queen. It's an amazing combination when you feel how silky it can be once you have the control down. You have to be patient off the block to be able to throw that one, two. You have to be very patient. Now let's level up with a six, one, two, nonstop. So it's a rear uppercut, jab, cross, nonstop. Go, uppercut, one, two, uppercut, one, two, uppercut, one, two. That tempo, let's put in work. Six, jab, cross, six, jab, cross. Yes, come on now. Work. More. Dig in. Put that one, two in the same divot. Come on, we're almost halfway done this workout, you guys. Three, two, one, and time. Once again, you can rest or you can do your plank with reaches. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Again, if you're resting, make sure you're taking deep breaths to get the heart rate down a little bit. Focus on your next round. It's coming up. You're going to crush it. I know you got this. We'll give you a little inspiration to make sure you get it done right. And bring it up. Squad, coming up in the next round, you're gonna work a little bit harder, but before we get into it, I just want you to consider how hard you're working so far. If you can amp it up a little bit in the upcoming round, you'll have no regrets at the end of this workout. It's about the effort that you put in. I'm just giving you the blueprint. It's up to you to build the temple. Let's get into it. I'm gonna challenge you to work at my pace. It's four power shots and move for your first combo for 30 seconds. And move whatever shots you want. But if you're new, if you're a beginner, throw four straight shots and then move power shots and everybody else, mix it up. Or if you're new, right there, let's go. My pace, four big shots, small movements, let's go. This is a challenge, work with me. Four shots, move, four shots, move. It's gotta be power. Four shots and move. You're working 30 second sets before we change the combination. Let's go. Four shots. Move. 
If you're just joining us on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel, straight punches work. Now fast one twos, as fast as you can. Jab cross, settle, jab cross, settle, jab cross, settle, jab cross. That's right, so it's a quick bit of relaxation before you let your hands go again. It's gotta be fast, champions. Come on, you're not tired. You have to let the hands go. And you hear the coach telling you let your hands go? This is it, speed and power straight down the middle. Now a rear hook, rear uppercut. Lead hook, lead uppercut, a rear hook. Let's go, four, six, three, five. Four, six, three, five. Rear hook, rear uppercut. Lead hook, lead uppercut. Yes, guys, come on. Now max freestyle, let it all go. Do not hold back, you finish the challenge strong. 30 seconds, work. Come on, I want power in the heavy bag, you guys. Power in the bag. I just told you, you need to eliminate regrets. You have to build this temple, so you have to increase your conditioning, increase your mental strength. That's why you're here, right? Weight loss, stamina, conditioning, skill. Let's put it all together. And time. Beautiful work. Once again, you can rest or do a loaded beast. It's up to you. Fifteen seconds. Again, are you preparing for round number six or are you continuously putting in work? Ten seconds. If you're resting, check out the forms. The next time you do this workout, you can do this exercise. Here's your next combo. For number six, we're gonna work on the outside and then throw straight punches. Whatever you want to start, work on the outside. So you're at long range, okay, long range. Work on the outside. Let's go, let's go. Just work outside, straight punches. Ready, let's work. Just think straight shots. You're punching at your own chin or slightly above. You're working combinations you're comfortable with and then trying some other ones. Yes, you wanna work punches that you can throw well, but you also wanna work on different patterns. Cross, jab, jab, cross, triple jab, cross. Cross, triple jab. Two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one. So you can throw punches and bunches. Five minutes remaining, squad. Now slip, slip. Outside, straight punches, whatever you throw, then throw two slips at the end. Let's go. One, two, slip, slip. So you change it up, do what you wanna do. Throw two slits at the end. Great job, you guys. If the heavy bag swings, work with it. By the way, your last sound of fitness was chains swinging on the heavy bag. That was a tough one. Only two people got it. So congratulations to the two winners. Level up. One, two, one, two. Slip, slip. Max speed. Ready? Let's go. One, two, one, two, slip, slip. One, two, one, two, slip, slip. One, two, one, two, slip, slip. Jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, slip. Let's work. Come on, come on, come on. Dig in, you guys, dig in. We're almost there, almost there. Three, two, one, yes. 
Once again, you can rest. Or, once again, you can do 10 oblique crunches on your right, 10 oblique crunches on your left. It's up to you to do this or to rest. Fifteen seconds before we go into your final round. I remind you guys to subscribe to the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Always looking to elevate subscribers on the channel. So by you doing that, it helps us a lot. Your final round, round number seven, we're going to work freestyle combos. Again, we're going to get after it for 30 second sets. The first one, you're going to work off that lead uppercut right there. Now, if you're inside, it's more vertical. If you're outside, it's a little more of a 45 degree angle from the elbow, right? Let's go. Let's go. You're going to work off the lead uppercut first and then throw anything you want after that. So again, as you improve your skill and your boxing IQ, you get to mix it up with your own flavors. Lead uppercut, let your hands go, defend, and move. Work different levels on the bag, body, head, head, body, pivots, shifts, head movement, hands high. Remember, those hands are weapons, so make sure they're making smooth contact. Now a jab, overhand right, you know this combo. Again, freestyle, so just a quick review. One eight, let him go. Yeah, that's it. Knock him out. Jab, overhand right, freestyle. Finish strong, it's the last round. Come on, you gotta stick with me. We're in this together, you guys. This playlist is about giving you mental toughness on your road to weight loss, better conditioning, and of course, better boxing. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, two. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Let them go. It's a hard combination, but I know you got this. Let's go fast. One, two, three, two. Jab, cross, hook, cross, fast hands. Now, I want you to finish strong. Let's go. Fast hands, max freestyle. I want all speed or power. It's up to you or do both. Let's work. You see the timer. 30 seconds from here. Dig in. Finish strong. Breathe, fighter. Come on. Breathe. Move. No regrets. Eliminate regrets with your efforts. Get the win. 10 seconds. You're yelling your name. Show them. Four, three, two, one. Absolutely amazing. Yo, I know you love the workout. You made it right to the end. Congratulations getting it done. Make sure you subscribe to the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel so that you get access to everything as soon as it hits the channel. That's what you want. Congratulations on the work today. If you want premium content, all of my premium workouts, this right here is to Nate Bauer Elevated. Check it out and I'll see you for the next one.